Well, this is it. The, uh, the mini summer's here. Is it a good thing that the mini summer's here? Eh. In Panama, summer is December, January, February, March. And summer here means no rain and a lot of wind. And by a lot of wind, I mean like 30, 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. In May through November here, is considered winter. And in the winter is when it rains a ton. But in July, there's a little period of like 20 days to 30 days. It's called the mini summer. And that's what just started right now. And you just get this little glimpse of dry season when it's windy like this. But over the last 12 months, we've gotten 250 inches of rain. It's been insane. It's been a ton. So I gotta say the next 20 to 30 days with wind and no rain is much needed. take the goats every few days onto new pasture and not only is it good for them and better for them to keep rotating but it also cuts their grass so during the whole day today with everything that we're doing in this video everything that's going on they're going to be cutting our grass which is just one less thing for us to do hi honey <laughs> <laughs> I had to kick down the loud. <laughs> We're now milking the goats twice a day. So here is half of a day of milk. And this will all be goat cheese by the end of this one. <laughs> what are you doing with all the way up there? That will uh, make my mom happy. That's for you, mom. <laughs> well, it's time to get back to work. We're pretty sick of not having a bathroom. Showering with that little spigot there that doesn't really give us any hot water and going to the bathroom in a hole. This is going to be our future bathroom and today is a big day where we're making a ton of progress. We're gonna be putting down all the structural pieces, all these beams right here for the floor. I am cutting these caballos exactly in half. These caballos are 20 feet long exactly, and we built the platform of this 10 feet long. So by cutting exactly in half, we have zero waste. And that's something that we learned when we built the workshop, is basically all the metal here comes in 20 feet. So this bathroom is exactly 10 feet by 16 feet, and it's gonna have a toilet, a sink, a washer, a dryer, a shower, a bathtub, and a sauna. And a sauna. <laughs> Eighteen beams, all ready to go, ready just to weld in place. And who's doing the welding, honey? You are, but then <laughs> I'm gonna. We're gonna take turns today. <laughs> Kaylee really wants to just weld it all the time. <laughs> for the swappity swap? Swap. <laughs> well, that is what I call a very very productive day. Jordan and I are super, super happy with all the progress that we've been making. I mean, it's crazy, like, all of these beams got put in just today. So that's super awesome. We just have one last row 
to go right here, actually two rows, one here and then one on the end, which we'll finish up tomorrow. But feeling so good, feeling like we achieved a lot today. Rodrigo just came up. <laughs> He's so happy right now. This is such a big moment for him down here. Him and the guys have been absolutely crushing it, making tons of progress. And they're putting in the last Cariola on the top. Woo did it! Yeah, dude! <laughs> Damn, look, look at them all! <laughs> See, he's up there. How's it feel, bro? Amazing. <laughs> How long have I been waiting for this thing? Like, been waiting so long. Oh, like one and a half years, oh probably more than that. Oh my gosh. Awesome. awesome. These are the moments in construction where it's like, oh my gosh, finally I'm done with this, this task that's been just feeling like months and months and months and on to the next thing. Kind of start making things a little bit more interesting again. But honestly, Jordan and I could not be any more proud of that kid to see how far he's come from the first day that he stepped up on our land. So I want to officially introduce you guys to our amigo, Rodrigo! I'm Rodrigo, I'm 19 years old. So I grew up in a farm. I love coffee, I love those guys, I love love. I Lola, Lola is the best. I love Lola. <laughs> and now you're on top of our greenhouse. Who, <laughs> Bobby? Bobby! Oh, you guys don't know this, but Rodrigo's new name is Bobby. As you guys know, or may not know, Jordan and I's nicknames evolve in a very interesting way. It's kind of a problem because people just think we're out of our minds. <laughs> but it started with Rodrigo, then it was Rod, then it was Rodman, then it was Bobbybo. Bobbybo. No, it's just. Then no. it was Uncle Bobbybo. Uncle Bobbybo. Then it was Bob, and now and it's Bobby. Now it's Bobby. Nice. Good morning, you guys. We got another north wind today, which usually means good weather for the whole day, even though it is a little overcast right now. I can't believe it, but today we're actually going vertical. And I don't mean like three or four inches vertical like we've talked about before. I mean like 10 to 12 feet vertical. Now the vertical beams need something to sit on, and that's gonna be this piece of sheet metal. But the only problem is this piece of sheet metal it's not really supported too well because this beam is two inches and the sheet piece of sheet metal is four inches by four inches. So I need to find a way to give it some support right here. Not too bad. Now we just need to weld it in place. Okay, now I just need to do that five more times. All right, I have a, I have a surprise for you, honey. You make goat cheese. Close your eyes. Is this one of those things where I stick my hand in it and then guess what it is? No, no, please don't do that. <laughs> 
No way. Dude. Doesn't that look so good? Did you try it yet? No, I haven't tried it yet. It looks like feta. No. I feel like it could be creamier. You think? A little dry. I feel like you need a little you bit more. You know what? I, I like was like very adamant about getting all of that water out. And I squeezed out as much water as I could. I think you squeezed out a little I bit. I think too I might have done a little bit too much, but. Did you put some seasoning? Need some like salt? I need some more salt. That was literally so easy. It's good, honey. You made it with lemon juice. I made it with lemon juice. <laughs> Try it. Go ahead. You like it. Those are from our goatsies. <laughs> Dude, she loves it, honey. <laughs> This big blue tarp house is coming down, baby. This thing has served us well and it's kept us dry and we've been able to build this thing even if it's been downpouring. But now it's time for it to come down. We're gonna be exposed to the elements until we get our own roof on. The last thing we need to do before we put these beams up is just take these big, thick, half-inch steel metal plates and weld them on here because this is what's gonna receive the roof. The beams for the roof are gonna get welded onto this and it's good to have a nice, strong, thick surface for that to sit on top of. It's time to start putting the vertical beams in place. I don't know what the official name of this type of roof is. I'm gonna guess it's called a split roof, but I, I don't know. I'm gonna put a picture somewhere around here of what the roof's gonna look like. So we're gonna have six main vertical beams, three on each side of three different heights, and that's what is gonna kind of be the main support of the roof. Two down, two more to go. That's it. We're done. <laughs> I was just cheesing so hard. Just because Sadie was making the cutest face ever. <laughs> it looks so good. I honestly was a little bit nervous with the height. I thought it was going to be way too tall. But I'm, I'm feeling really good about it. Yeah, you can see the high point is right in the middle. We have four out of the six beams up. But we're stopping for today. We're going to chill it for the rest of the day. Enjoy this beautiful day. It's crazy how the weather just like is all over the place right now. So when it's sunny out. We're gonna take advantage of it fully, but. Do you see your face right now? How dark is it? <laughs> There's a bee like trying to sting me at the same time. Oh no. My hands too, dude. <laughs> this is where we're gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for following along on this one. We can't wait to get back to work on this one tomorrow, but that'll be for the next one. So, see, see you guys in the next one. See you next time.